What's up guys, my name is Hybrid and today I'm going to show you how to make the Scorpion. That's right, the Scorpion from COD 4. It's probably one of my favorite guns to run in Search and Destroy with the silencer. Get up in those spots that nobody knew where you were and just absolutely slaughter the enemy team. I kind of figured out a way to make it in the new Modern Warfare and it's really cool. And you actually make it with the MP5 so it's not a bad gun. And it's actually really fun to use because it's extremely quick. You run around extremely fast with it. It's just overall a lot of fun to use. I would definitely suggest trying it out if you have a high level MP5. Anyways, let's get into the attachments. Okay, and for some reason, none of my guns or previews are showing up. It's just a black screen with all the attachments. I don't really understand why. I've gone through my graphic settings and tried to fix this. We're just going to deal with it. We're going to start out with the FTAC collapsible stock. Now this is going to add to your movement speed and your ADS speed, which is extremely good when you're running and gunning. However, you are going to lose a little bit of aim stability as well as recoil control. However, we do not have to worry about that because we are going to be using the all-powerful Commando Foregrip, which you do unlock pretty early with this weapon. And this is going to allow us to have a little more recoil stabilization and aiming stability. And this is going to help out tremendously, especially when you're L-triggering around this corner. Now the next attachment that I want to point out is the stippled grip tape. And the main reason we are using this is so that we can increase our sprint to fire speed as well as our ADS speed. The reason we want to increase our sprint to fire speed as much as we can is because like I said, we're going to be running around corners. We're going to be running quite a bit. You want to be able to ADS quickly when you're doing that. When you see those enemies, you want to be able to take them down as quickly as you possibly can. Now to add to that sprint to fire speed, we're going to pick up the 5MW laser. I would go ahead and attach the last one, which actually does a little bit more. However, I don't have it unlocked right now. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. It also adds to your hip fire accuracy. I do not find myself hip firing in this game. However, I I will say this laser does help tremendously with your hip fire spray. Now the only con to this is that the laser is visible to the enemies, however when you're running and gunning I don't find that to be a issue or a problem at all. And then the last and final attachment that we're going to be using is the FFS mini barrel. Now the main reason we're using this is for looks as well, however it does add to the movement speed as well as the ADS speed, so that is not only going to increase the rate that we're moving at, but it's also going to increase the rate that we're drawing our weapon to our face to take down the enemies. Now if you guys missed any of that, do not worry because I'm going to have all the attachments in a list in the top left of the screen while we're going through this gameplay because it is an extremely fun weapon and I hope you guys do get a chance to use it. If you guys do use it and you have any suggestions for the build, please do leave a comment down below. Now over the next couple days I am going to be trying to get either a high kill gameplay or a nuke with this build hopefully if I can pull it off. So be on the lookout for that. Other than that I really hope you guys are enjoying Modern Warfare. Definitely try this build out if you are capable and I will see you in the next video. Peace.